हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवार हियर फ्रॉम मिथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइज आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लेस रू डॉट इन वंस अगेन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप रेड हैट इंटरप्राइज लाइन एक्स इन साइड योर वर्चुअल मशीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ टू डाउनलोड वेयर टू डाउनलोड एंड देन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल वेरी सिंपल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू गो टू द माई वेबसाइट लाइन एक्स तिवारी डॉट कॉम ओके यू कैन गूगल लाइन एक्स तिवारी यू कैन गो टू द सॉफ्टवेयर पेज of my website linuxty.com and from here you will get the operating system let me <coughs> zoom it for you so if you go to this website software page linuxty.com software page you just need to go to this and you will get linux operating system for cyber security lab you just right click here open in new tab and it will give you the link to download the iso file I have already uploaded it. Just you click on the download; it will download it. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it. Now, once downloaded, how to install? Just click on New. You can see by default this is my virtual machine. By default, it's completely empty. So you just click on New button, then type the operating system name. So mine is Red Hat. So I will select Red Hat. Red Hat is Linux. Type is Linux. and version will be 32 bit because i have sent you the link of 32 bit operating system on this website okay so i am going to select red hat 32 bit then click on next by default it is ram in my system total ram is 16 gb out of 16 gb i am going to allow 1 gb ram to this linux machine just click on next create then click on next next here you have to allow minimum 18 gb space okay so 18 gb space create and now okay now click on settings go to system remove the floppy drive make hard disk first bootable device so always the hard disk will be on the top and optical just below the hard disk it means hard disk will be first bootable device and optical will be the second bootable device after that uh, you can go to the storage management so you can go to the storage then click on empty and then here right hand side you can see a cd logo just click here and choose the first option then click on add button and then you have downloaded that iso file red hat iso file find that folder where you have downloaded that iso file okay so my iso file is inside another directory named f drive so just go to this directory where i have downloaded and kept save my data i find the file rcl5 you can see then click on open choose then go to network in network you have two option select the bridge adapter always select the bridge adapter okay so i have select the bridge adapter in name you can see realtek pci gb family controller if you are using wifi then you have to select your wireless card here okay uh, right now i am connect my system is connected you can see my system is connected with lan lan cable lan wire that's why i have selected this one if you are connected with wifi then you will select wifi option by default it will uh, it will take okay you don't have to make any change here just click on okay now your system is ready for installation click on a start button and a start the installation now go to view and click on scale mode and then switch and maximize it here you have to type linux space text linux space text to start the installation in text mode and press enter the installation has been started remember once the installation has been started in text mode this is text mode installation and once the installation has been started in text mode you can't use your mouse okay you just have to use your keyboard so now it's can see this option cd found you have to skip this option because there is no real cd so there is no need to test the cd so just using that tab key go to skip and press enter so i have used the tab key and press enter then press enter welcome message okay english okay go to okay and press enter go to okay using the tab key and press enter is asking for installation number installation number is like a license key you don't need the license key red hat is free for educational purpose and research work so you can go for skip option so skip entering the installation number go to this option and press a space key to select this option and then go to okay enter skip enter yes
जस्ट वॉच इट केयरफुली ठीक है यू कैन सी देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ पार्टीशन यू हैव टू यूज द फोर्थ वन क्रिएट कस्टम ले आउट ओके देन क्लिक ऑन ओके इंटर गो टू न्यू पार्टीशन क्रिएट न्यू पार्टीशन इंटर देन हियर यू हैव टू मेक ओनली टू चेंजेस फर्स्ट इन द माउंट पॉइंट दैट विल बी स्लैश ओनली स्लैश एंड देन यू हैव टू गो टू द साइज एंड इन साइज यू कैन गिव we have total uh, total space taken is is be uh, we have already taken 18 gb space okay so total space was 18 gb out of 18 gb 16 gb will be allotted to this partition and then go to okay and press enter go to okay enter yes okay okay no grab password okay 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 Yes, we want to configure network interfaces. By default, no support for IP version four, no support for IP version six. If you want to give the support, yes, we want to give the support. So we will enable both these options using downside arrow key. Go to enable IP version four support. Press space key again. Go downside. Press space key. Using the type key, go to OK. Press enter. OK, enter. OK, enter. OK, enter. Here you have to select your time zone. This will be different for different people. So I will select my time zone according to my location. So uh, mine will be Asia Kolkata. So I will select my location Asia Kolkata. You will select according to your location. Okay. So this will be different for different people. Click on OK. Now it's root password. You have to give the root password. What do you mean by root password? Root is a administrator user inside Linux. It means in every Linux machine there is by default a user that is root. root is a admin inside the linux machine similarly like in windows there is a administrator user very similar in linux there is a root user so you can't create that user but you can change the password for this user you can assign the password for this user it's asking me the password what do you want to give the password i am giving red hat at least six character password okay then you have to revise the password red hat okay then go to okay then click on okay The installation will be going on. It will take two minutes. So within two minutes, this installation will be completed. This is known as text mode installation. So just wait. After installation, it will ask for a reboot. So you just need to reboot the system after installation. Reboot means simply restart. It will not take more than one minute. So within two minutes, you can complete this installation. I have taken more than five minutes only to explain you, okay? Because I am explaining you everything. That's why it's taking five minutes. But if I don't need to explain, I will complete. I will do the complete installation within two minutes. If you have a Core i5 latest generation or Core i7 latest generation operating system. remember this uh, no text mode installation will uh, be easily installed it will take less time and it will consume less processing power less ram and it will smoothly run even on the low end processor okay so if you have a low end pc low end uh, low low end processor low end motherboard uh, you have uh, lowest ram like 8 gb or 4 gb ram even you can run this install this red hat linux machine inside that computer so you don't need a high configuration machine laptop or pc to install this virtual machine and install red hat inside that virtual machine okay
that's why we, we do the text mode installation if you install the graphical one graphical one will consume more ram and more processing power i will show you in the next video uh, graphical installation also of the red hat enterprise linux and here done installation complete you can see the congratulations message congratulations your red hat enterprise linux server installation is complete so you need to re reboot the system so this will just press enter and reboot your system so your linux machine has been successfully installed and after successful installation we are going to reboot the system for the first time so it, it will look something like this when it's reboot remember our username is root and the password is red hat which we have assigned during the installation so you have to keep that password in your mind uh, i will also show you what if you forget the password okay in the next class coming classes i will show you You can see it's done now just go to exit and press enter you don't need to make any change now login with root password red hat and here it is you login how will you verify just type who am i and it's saying that you are root you want to check verify your ip address whether your system has get correct ip address or not you just type if config and here it is you go to the ip address 192.168.29.110 so this is our ip address okay now if you want to shut down your system just type in it a space zero so in it space zero will shut down your system not your windows machine just your linux machine inside this virtual box okay so thank you thank you for <coughs> watching this video and if you have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section now in the next video i will show you how to install this red hat linux in gui graphical user interface it means graphical mode so just be ready and keep enjoying